Hello and welcome everybody! Today we are in Oosthout in Voorhout and we're going to test the XT grip. And we're going to start right now. Vamos! Vamos! With Jeroen! Yeah! Perfect. So I put it on the over the basic grip. I think otherwise I have too much space. No. So I'm gonna put one over grip on now. So basic grip, XT grip, and then another over grip. Okay, so now I put the grip on and it feels small, tiny. The Hesa core is like uh, thicker lines, this is smaller lines. So I don't know, we're going to test. But it feels, 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 feels okay. Let's find out. Vamos. Okay, so it feels not that present there. It's 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 good to hold. So it's not that thick. It's nice to it plays nice. Um, it should give less vibration uh, into your hand. So it's good if you have pain in your arm. You can definitely use this. It's different than the shockout. The shockout is with uh, circles, and your hand fits in the circles. This is in a form of an X. That's why it's called the XT grip. And it, it feels not so uh, present, but it feels nice to have it. And you can um, uh, put your fingers in between the X's. Um, and I did a basic grip, then I put the XT grip, and then I put the over grip. Um, with sweat, I don't know, because I, I don't sweat that often. But it, it feels nice. So it's definitely something that you can try if you have pain in your arm. It feels, it feels nice because I tend to have more grip because my hand stops moving and it twisting. So if you have that thing that you hit the ball and, and your, head, your racket is shaking, this, I think this will uh, hold that. So it's, e it's slightly easier to hold than a normal round grip, if you know what I'm saying, because that's nothing with your hand that stops the motion from moving. So we, if you have a normal grip, your, your hand can go backwards and slide and now it, the, it stops sliding. So if you hit the ball wrongly, you still hold the same grip. So that's why it's maybe better for your arm as well. Because when it doesn't move around, and like you get this, you get the shock into your arm. Because if you hit the, the ball uh, wrongly, and the ball goes into your racket and you hit it wrong, it goes, all the tension of the ball goes into your hand. And that's why you get injured. And if you hit the ball correct, it should be fine. So people that hit the ball in the center of the racket never have problems with the arm. Um, and this will stop the racket from moving. Vamos. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you want to see more videos like this, please like the video. Let's get this video to a thousand likes. And I'll see you next time. Hasta luego. Ciao. Adios. Ciao. Tak.